Hey folks, Nas here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our one day hard mode challenge series. So I ended up finishing in the last episode, uh, we got the resource storage upgraded to the resource storage two, which also increases our taxes a little bit. But I also uh, added some of the daub to our house and I can go into here and you can see that my wife, she's got the green happy face <laughs> and she's already uh, a 30% on her mood. And then Bradamir, our son, you can see he's got the two little arrows up. He's a 24 on mood. So I think what we might do today is try and add some more insulation to some of these other houses to help with their mood. Now, granted, your villagers will not leave your village until they get to a negative 100 percent. Uh, so as long as they don't reach negative 100 percent, they won't leave your village. But I did notice that Mr. Bradamir here. Hello, sir, has a quest for us. Now, our crops, we planted the crops it's real quick, but we can't harvest them until next season which means that we can't put anything in the ground this season, which shouldn't be that big of an issue because it would have been, uh, I believe, carrots. I think carrots are the only thing that can go in the ground this time of year. And we don't have any carrots, so. <laughs> which is fine. Uh, we're going to have a ton of cabbage that will eventually become rot because we really haven't been using the cabbage and the carrots. We've been trying to do the onion and the meat to make the meat gravy. It's actually a more efficient uh, uh, meal source for them. All right, Mr. Bradamir, let's see what you got for us today. Hello. Hello, sir. Dad, look what I found. It's for you. Very nice. Thank you. What did he give us? Well, a mushroom. How did you find that in the wintertime, son? Uh, let's see. How's it going, little cub? There we go. I'm bored. Have you tried? <laughs> Have you tried mischief? <laughs> you always seem to enjoy it. Uh, I did. I scared some chickens, uh, fought with mom for a whole hour before taking a bath, and even scraped a knee while trying to climb a tree. But nothing helped. Poor thing. <laughs> He's four now. Man. Seems like it was just yesterday. He was two. <laughs> uh, can you help me out? Uh, let's see. Hmm. I could get you a toy. Yes. Yes. That's a great idea. Uh, I'm not surprised you like it. Okay. So now we've got to get him a toy. Toy for a boy. Okay. So that means that we probably need to go and buy him the wooden sword. Let's go in here. Now we've got, uh, we've still got to go and talk to Dieter. We've still got nine years left, so we got some time. But we're going to highlight Mr. Bradamir. We got to go buy him a toy sword. So the only place that you can actually get a toy sword, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, so it's not indicating that there is a place that we get it because he has the icon. You see it on the direction bar above the screen, and three meters. He's literally the only thing with that icon. If there was a specific place that you had to go and get something, that uh, that little quest icon that is on my son would be where you have to go. Uh, but to get the toy sword, if I am not mistaken, you have to go to the blacksmith. And if that's the case, we're talking Jan and Hornica or Teobald and Lesnica. But I want to to see one thing. I don't think we can craft the toys. I'm almost positive we cannot craft the toys, but let's check. Because if we can craft it in the workbench, then we could actually go to Borowu, but we cannot. Okay. I don't think they're a craftable item at all. So you have to purchase them. But I'm just double checking. Wooden tools. Wooden weapons. No. Because it is definitely a wooden item. Okay. If that's the case, let me check and see how many sticks and feathers we got. We may make some stuff to sell since we're going to buy stuff anyway. Uh, let's see. We're going to go here. Let's go feathers. We have 248 
feathers. Let's grab 240 feathers. And then we can grab 240 sticks. 240. There we go. Uh, and then how much leather do we have? 152 leather. Let's grab... Let's grab 80. Is that going to be right? No. 90. Let's grab 90 leather. There we go. Now, we can turn all of that leather... Nope. Wrong wheel. There we go. Ooh, snowball. Nice. Okay. Maybe we'll make a snowball. Uh, let's see. 30 bags. And then we can turn the, the sticks and the feathers into wooden bolts. And that way we can sell those. What is this? Crafted only during the winter can be tossed around uh, harmless fun. Okay, well, let's make a snowball. And where did that go? Snowball, right there. Uh, we'll put that in five. <laughs> Can we... Oh, here we go. Boom! <laughs> he should throw one back! If I hit him with it, he should reach down and grab snow and pack it up and hit dad with it. <laughs> okay, we uh, let's stay on track. Stay on track, Nass. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Wooden bolts. Like 240 of those. Can I call Miss Donkey while I'm doing this? No. Alright, there we go. Now we can call Miss Donkey. That way she's at least coming out of the stables. And let's head over to Borowu real quick. I just want to double check that we cannot buy the toy sword from the uh, workshop vendor, which is um, billable in Borowu. But I think we're going to have to go and visit the blacksmith, if I'm remembering that properly. Oh, we got a busted cart right here out of out of our village. Very nice. Push the correct button to get off Miss Donkey. Uh, what do we got in here? Salted meat. Okay, we can throw that in the food storage. Leather. Stone knife. Um, I can throw that, I guess, in the resource storage, maybe? How much is the stone knife? How degraded is it, I should say? Stone knife, it's at 68, but man, it still sells. That might be like 20. 20 coin. It's not going to sell for 40. Alrighty, let's go visit Mr. Philibor real quick. How do you do? I do just Let fine. Me Thank you, you sir. Uh, okay, so he's got the clay mugs and he's got the vases with the flowers. He's got the torch, the wine bottles. No, he does not sell the toy, the wooden sword. Even though he does work with wood, it would make sense that he had it, but because it is, I guess, a sword, a weapon, that's why it's sold at the blacksmith. Uh, we're not selling the leather. We're not selling the meat that I didn't put in the resource store, the food storage from last season. Uh, bags. We're going to sell those. He'll take all 30. And we need to sell wooden bolts. He'll take all 240. So we're now back up to 5,800 coins. Almost 5,900 coins. I still need to put that in the storage uh, in my house, and I, for whatever reason, oh, I had extra leather, probably because I got it from somewhere. Where did I get it? Maybe I picked up one extra. Oh, well, regardless, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we are going to go and hit 
Hmm. What? I'm kind of thinking of riding over to Gustovia to save a few coins and go take the uh, the Wagoneer from Gustovia. Because we're literally right here. I can see him across the river. We'll just run through the water and we'll go take uh, the Wagoneer. Hornica is probably going to be the cheaper place to go. No, we want to stay on Miss Donkey and then take the wagon here. Come on, do it right. How is life treating you? Life is treating me well, mister. Uh, let's see, poor Hornica. Wow, Lesnica is 470. Yeah, we're going to Hornica. Boop. Let's go then. Alrighty, let's head into here and let's find Jan who looks like he's going to be at his workstation already. Can we step in here and just talk to him while we're on the Hello horse? There. Or on Miss Donkey? Yep, what we'll just walk need? right up I to don't. his workbench there. And let's go down here. Toy sword. Ooh, he only has one. Okay. Well, we're going to buy that. 63 coins well spent for our son. Farewell. Oh, wait. Do, uh, My wares never disappoint. How much is the crossbow again? Not that I need one. Let's see. Wooden crossbow. I passed it. Iron crossbow. A thousand coins. <laughs> But we don't need one yet. We're still at 42%. We still got a little ways to go. We're not doing Goodbye. a ton of hunting or fighting. Uh, so we that should last us quite a bit. All right, let's back out of there and let's go hit the, the uh, Wagoneer again. How is Mr. Wagoneer, I need another ride. We're going to go back to Gustovia. Let's go then. There we go. Now we get spun around here and we can go and see about getting our son a toy sword. That way he's no longer bored. Because, you know, when you're bored, you got to have a weapon, right? You'll put your eye out with that. Got some goodies here along the river. It's always good to check the river. Never know when something's going to float up on shore. Three hop. I never did. I sell the other hop. Yeah, I did. I saw that. I sold it in there. So we only had three in our inventory. Okay, let's head back over here. Are there any bags next to this uh, bridge? No. Now we need to pick up. Did we pick up the stuff here? Yeah, we picked up the stuff there. Uh, you know what? Let's go up here. Let's go to the triple waterfall and see if that stuff has uh, spawned in. Checking for the bandits. Since we finally hit bandits uh, a couple episodes ago, no, that has not spawned in. And I'm not going to walk all the way up to the top of the waterfall because I don't know that that one's really going to be worth me wasting that kind of time. I'd check it if I was going over there and actually getting something from the camp and maybe the busted cart that is usually over there. Excuse me, ma'am. What was that? The eagle. Sounded like a firework or something. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Anyway. One toy sword for a lucky boy. Oh, come back. You're back! Look, I brought you a present. A toy. I couldn't wait for it. It's amazing. Who's the best dad in the world? No idea. I only know you.
<laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Just go and play with your toy. <laughs> toy for a boy. Quest completed. There you go, buddy. Don't put your eye out with that. Yeah. yeah. That is absolutely awesome. Puts it in his pocket. Awesome. Alrighty, now let's go see about making some more daubs so we can maybe get some of these other houses uh, insulated and see about getting some of these uh, moods up a little bit more. Uh, let's see, let's grab some clay. Uh, what did I grab, like 80 clay last time or something? Do that. And then, I know I grabbed extra, but whatever. Then we needed straw. I don't remember how much straw we needed. I think I grabbed close to 100. And then, can I carry the 14 daub I just saw in here? Yes, I can. Okay. Now, let's go make some daub and see about uh, upgrade or insulating some more homes, or at least one more home. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty, I think that I saw that that gave us like 90 something daub. Let's pull our hammer out, which we're probably going to need a new one pretty soon. And add insulation. Wait, whose house is this? Uh, Lou Gorda. Lou Gorda? Okay. She's in an eight mood right now. So let's upgrade or insulate her place and see if that changes her mood at all or if we have to wait till next season for it to change. Get that one up there. And I forgot to hit the other side. Up there. All right, now, does that change her at all right now? It does. It says that it is going up. She's already gone up 1%, and she's got two little bars. Perfect. How much do I have left? Uh, I got a little bit of clay left. I have 28 daub left. Let's go ahead and put it in here for the next house. Get some of these moods going. Okay, we got to go make some more daubs. Let's, let's do that. Not terribly concerned about insulating the workspace yet. I'm not 100% sure on why up, uh, insulating the resource storage would be a thing because nobody works in the resource storage. But let's grab some more clay. And some more straw. Let's go make some more daub. So we can get these houses insulated. That'd be great. Okay, workbench. Daub. There we go. Yep, put it all in your pocket. All right, let's head back over here. Because what do we got? We got seven houses total. Looks like it. Nope. What? No, this. Uh, insulate. There we go. Oh, I got to check the traps again. And we're going to get that going. Come on. Rosalinda, your house is insulated. You're going to be so much warmer now. Oh, man. Broke my stuff. Go ahead and collect these sticks. Collect a few stones and some more sticks. I have a feeling I might have to make some of these traps. That's why I'm doing this. Let's go through here and pick up all these sticks. Why not? 
using them. Need to pick them up for their survival skill points. Come on, pick, 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 pick. Stone, stone, stone. I should be doing this, like, daily. Okay, now, let's check this. Collect that. Reset. Collect. Reset, or arm, I should say. Ooh, new hunting level. Absolutely, thank you. New hunting level. What we got there? Okay, we are literally level three on hunting. Yay. <laughs> now, we can go into Trapping Master or I can take Hunting Knowledge. I'm kind of thinking of going into Trapping Master again. Because this way we'll be able to, it'll increase our limit by three of each trap. So I think we'll, I think that would be better for us. And then once we possibly max this out, we can work on maxing this out to help with that, the, the leveling. So I'm going to go into Trapping Master for one more point. So that'll increase our traps that we can make. Uh, let's collect this. Since we're going to be uh, making traps anyway, I'm going to go ahead and collect all of these, and then we'll get the materials to make them. How much? How many sticks do I have on me? Uh, I got 58 sticks on me. So, let's go. Let's get our hammer. Oh, my hammer broke. <laughs> Duh, the hammer broke. Uh, what do we need for the hammer? One log, 10 sticks. Okay. Let's open this up here. Should have logs in here. So let's grab one log. And let's just go grab another little bit of sticks here. That's fine. Go into Q, craft, hammer. There we go. Uh, I should grab some stone. I know I picked up a few, but I should probably grab some extras since we're going to be making some more bird traps. Um, ten should be enough. Now, let's go back behind here again. And hammer. Nope. Q, table, trap. Let's go with this. We can have up to four rabbit traps now. So, I think what we'll do, we'll spin this around, and we'll do one in front of the next, just like that. And then we'll come down here, and we'll do one here, and then one right in front of it, there. Now, so we got those four, table, trap, bird trap. So we've already got two bird traps up. Let's spin this guy around little too far. There we go. And we'll just bring this straight forward. Do one there. And one there. So now we'll, <clears throat> when these all trip, we'll essentially be getting double the amount of uh, points, experience points, than what we were getting before. Cancel that. Furniture and decorations, traps, and rat trap. Now we got four of these to place. Let's do that that and then we'll just come straight forward like that trap limit exceeded so we cannot place any more traps so there we go get rid of that there we go that's what i was trying to do is get rid of it um firewood we have firewood problems okay let's go make some more firewood because i believe we have some logs in here Logs right there, 13 logs, and then we'll have to go out and chop down some more logs. Nope, Q craft firewood. Let's craft all of that up, <coughs> and hopefully, that will solve the firewood issue. Put that there because I don't want their mood dropping since I just started raising it. And let's put clay let's put the daub the feathers the fur the leather 
the sticks, the stone, and the... Whoops, 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 cancel. The straw all back. We need to go put the meat um, in here. Let's go check food real quick. Uh, do we have onion left? We do have a little bit of onion left. Um, they should be fine on the meals right now. So I'm just going to put the meat in here. That'll give us 21 more meals. But right now their meals seem to be fine. Uh, we'll put the salted meat in there. Good. Just checking here. Oh, stone knife. Let's go drop the stone knife in... The resource storage, because I don't need a stone knife and an iron knife on me. There we go. The bronze axe is fixing a break, but we're getting ready to go out and do some more wood chopping. Uh, let's grab us a little drink of water from the river here. Good. Now let's head out and chop down some more trees. Uh, can't do anything with the crops this season. We have to wait till next season to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just ride Miss Donkey. Whoops. We'll ride Miss Donkey over here to chop down some more trees. Because the logs are going to be an issue, especially if we're upgrading any buildings or even building a new building. I know I'd mentioned in a few episodes about uh, building a new wood storage. The idea is still there. Yes, the priority is not. That's why I have not built it yet. So the, the, I, the main idea of this series is to get through all of the chapter quests. Uh, I've kind of added doing the uh, family quests just because I haven't done a whole lot of them because they were added somewhat late during my season five. So I've been doing those, but it's not a requirement to the challenge. But the challenges or the uh, challenges, the uh, story quests give you quite some time to, to complete them. And we're on seven right now. So we've got three more chapters or two more chapters plus the current to get through. But I figured I'd take a little bit of time and, you know, do some upgrades and stuff for our villagers. That way we were getting their mood up a little bit. Nope, stick, maple, there we go. Probably just pick up all these sticks here too. Because I need to get my survival skill up. It was something I was looking at a while back. Hang on. Let me see what I, if I can figure out what that was I was looking at. Uh, let's see, was it the technology, survival? Food storage is a thousand there but there was something there was something I was looking at trying to get my survival skill up that's 2,000 there oh the hunting lodge there it is I was I was looking at the wrong thing the survival right there so the hunting lodge two uh, I believe this is going to allow us to put four villagers in the in one hunting lodge. That way I wouldn't actually have to build another building. Uh, I could actually start bringing in people and pairing them up uh, in their own homes. So that way my taxes aren't necessarily going up, but I'm adding more villagers to the village and then the hunting lodge could go to level two and I believe that adds it goes from a two occupancy building to a four occupancy building. And then we could actually be bringing in double the amount of leather and feathers. Uh, and then at that point I could look at building a second woodshed, which I would love to have uh, a new woodshed. Where's that? That's woodshed 
But we've got 1,500 more. Well, where are we at? 1,200. We got about 1,200 more points to go before we even unlock the woodshed two, which would allow two people in the woodshed. So that's going to be a little bit. We may have to build another woodshed building or something like that. So that's kind of where I'm thinking. Uh, now, granted, I like I said, I'd mentioned the building a second woodshed. It's just talking. Thinking of ideas out loud, and not necessarily that I'm going to do them right now. Uh, so I apologize if that has been confusing people in some of these episodes. Uh, let's go up here and get some more wood. I'm still not encumbered from what I just chopped down. So I don't want to transfer it over into Miss Donkey yet. That's probably a bad place to put her. Uh, let's see. Get this guy down. I kind of wish these trees would be directional. So typically when you chop down a tree, you chop it down so it will fall a certain direction. You don't just chop a tree down and hope that it falls the right direction. You know, so like if I'm looking at the tree here, you know, ideally it would fall the way I'm looking. Rather than literally bounce off the stump. But I'm noticing in some games, I mean like even in Valheim, when you chop down a tree, it's random which direction it's going to fall. And this is the same way, so I guess it's, you know... It's a general thing in games. However, if if you're felling trees as a profession, and you guys have probably seen some of the videos around, these guys can get very accurate in where they're dropping these trees, and they have to be able to do so, especially if you're taking trees down in a subdivision. You know, or close to other buildings and stuff, because you definitely don't want to pay... To repair a building after you fell a tree. That tends to get, you know, problematic with insurance companies. <laughs> Alrighty, let's chop these up. Oh, I'm already encumbered. That's okay. Let me get this tree here and then I'll throw all of this in Miss Donkey. Should be close enough to actually transfer it to her. Logs. Uh, X. Hold X. Transfer to mount. We want to transfer it all. Thank you, Miss Donkey. Chuck these down. Come on. Thank you. All right, let's see if I can chop this down without hitting her. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Donkey. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't see her health. Can I see her health if I do this? Switch to mount. Yeah, she took a little bit of damage, but she'll gain that back. I'm sorry, Miss Donkey. I should have moved you. I knew it was a bad idea to park you right next to that tree. Dang it. I have to make sure to park you out farther next time. I was thinking I wanted her close so I could put the stuff in her inventory, but I definitely don't want her taking damage. If she doesn't have to take damage. What do we got? Two more trees? I don't know if I can get all of them or not. It'd be nice if I could. Ooh, getting heavy. And I think we can get this one more, and then maybe we can hop on Miss Donkey and ride her back down the hill. Slow going. Side strafe. Nope. I'm gonna ride. We're both encumbered, Miss Donkey. Go down here and drop this stuff in the resource storage. Uh, 
Pull out our torch so we can actually see. Alrighty. Whoops, nope. Logs. Drop those there. 32. Nice. And 28 from Miss Donkey. Nice little chunk. There we go. And then we can go put feathers and sticks back in here. Perfect. Now, uh, we got some time left. How about we do another round? We got enough. Let's see if I can I carry all of that. Yeah, let's get all of that. Let's. There's 36 daub there. Let's grab some straw. Uh, yep, yeah, that should be enough there. I don't know if I can carry all of that daub. Where'd it go? Right there. Uh, what is that? 18. That's going to put me 8 encumbered by doing that. But, uh, yeah, I'm still moving okay. So let's run up here. Let's turn all of this uh, stuff into daub and see about uh, insulating another house tonight. Alrighty, pull our torch out so we can see. No, pull the torch out so we can see. I must have already had it out, and then I put it away. Alrighty, let's go down here. I think we got, what do we get? Three houses done? Three partial? Yeah, three and a partial. Alright, let's pull this out. Let's go insulation. We'll just add insulation. We got like 125 on us. Target that. There we go. And get it. Get it. Thank you. And we got 66 left, which is not going to be quite enough to get this entire house done. Nope. There we go. Nope. Where is that at? Why are you not targeting that right? You're going to make me go into first person, aren't you? Nope, there it is. Ha ha. Oh wait, are we going to have enough? We do. I mean, right down to the penny. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. Repair. There was a... I thought I saw... Do I have... No, I don't have any sticks on me. just need two sticks. Two sticks right there. Get that repaired. Is there any others? No, because I just repaired all of these. These are becoming, like that's 59 and 57 percent. I don't think they become technically damaged or repairable until they drop below 50. Yeah, see that was 53. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, we got some traps. Traps are tripped. Trippy traps. Let's grab this. Arm. Collect. Arm. Uh, collect. Arm, collect, arm, collect, arm, and the bird trap. Almost all of them were, quite a few of them. Grab this, grab this. Perfect. What do we get from that? Uh, 24 feathers, 12 meat. Not bad. Got to go in this building. Okay. Uh, let's see. Food, meat. Drop those 12 in there. Uh, let's see. We got a little bit of onion left. Enough for quite a few meals, I think. How many plates do we got? I may end up going and just making some meals. Although they haven't really eaten... I have to go back and see how much they've actually eaten. Clay, feather, fur, stick, the one stick, straw. Alright, let's um, put the hammer away. That way we can turn the green housing off. 
back into here. Trying to remember, we got 21. It seemed like there were like maybe 28 meals, so they've got they got quite a bit. So I can I can wait a little bit. Let's see. That meat is at 50%, so maybe I'll actually make that meat into meals next season using the rest of some of this onion here. So that would be, because I think it's three onion and one meat for one of these here. So with 10 meals, that's going to be 30 onion that we'll use. So we'll be left with, you know, what was that, 69 onion or something? 70 onion? So that's pretty good. Got quite a bit of onion. This guy's checking the growth of the crops. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Uh, how are we looking on water? Because I'm not getting an indication. Okay. So we got four buckets going. That's good. And how many empty buckets do we have? I'm trying to make sure we got nine empty buckets left. So it seems like his the rate of water bucket filling is still good. Just need to make sure that we keep his... Uh, bucket supply uh, full or enough that way he's constantly got an empty bucket to fill so we don't get the warning that he doesn't have a bucket alrighty there we go that's pretty good so we got uh, over half the buildings I believe all done and daubed today we've got uh, the toy sword for our son Mr. Bradamir he probably wore himself out today Playing with his sword. Uh, we got... Oh yeah, we only have two more houses left to, to put Dob in. That'll be good. Uh, let's take a look at happiness. So when we started the episode, there were a lot of sixes and eights. You can see here we've still got six and six, which these are probably the two people that we have not insulated their homes. But you can see everybody else, uh, their stuff has gone up. Now, Bradamir and my wife, theirs went up quite a bit. Uh, she's super happy. Got to keep the wife happy. Happy wife, happy life. But that's pretty good. It's nice. Maybe we can get them, I think, when you get to maybe 25 or 26%, they get the green happy face. But that's good. Happy, happy, happy. And the next season, we'll be able to collect our um, rye here that we planted and then put something else in the ground, which I believe it's going to be spring. So we're probably going to try and put some flax in the ground. That way we can kind of get that going. Um, and then onion. We're going to have to put onion and flax in the ground for sure. Oat. And oat should go in the ground, but we got quite a bit of oat, but we don't have an extra donkey, so I'm not actually turning the oat and the rye into animal feed, which I probably should, just for the crafting experience. Let's do that now. Yeah, we well, see we got 60 animal feed there. So we need oat and rye for that. But yeah, look at that. We got 70, 179 oat and 300 rye. That's that's crazy. Oh, and there's like six. Dang it, there were six rye stalks in there. There we go. There it is. Let's let's thresh that. I've been looking at that for quite a few episodes, and I keep meaning to thresh it, but I forget about it. So let's go thresh that real quick. Here, thresh those six little rye. <laughs> we probably picked those up out of a busted cart or something. And then I believe we can go over here and uh, where do we do the animal feed? Oh, it's right here. Duh, it's right in front of me. Okay, so it's a one and one. Oh, we got to have straw for that. Okay, so it's a one and one with straw. Was that five straw? Her? Hang on. No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> One animal feed. 
Yes. Yeah, so for one animal feed, it takes five straw. Wow, that's a lot of straw. So like for a hundred animal feed, you need 500 straw. That seems like a lot. In my opinion. Uh, do I have anybody gathering straw? I don't think I do. I... Wow. Okay. That's... That's a lot of straw. And with... I'm not going to burn up through, burn, burn up my straw because we're still uh, repairing buildings and stuff with straw. Okay. Good to know. Need to gather straw. And the best way to gather straw is along the river's edge or having one of your villagers collect it. Can we even collect it? Yeah, we got reeds down here, so we can actually collect straw. Just another thing I gotta do. <laughs> Along with chopping wood and everything. But that's gonna help with our survival uh, skills and everything. Uh, getting survival skill points. But anyway, I think we're gonna call this an episode. We're getting really close to uh, it switching over to spring. Uh, if you folks are liking these episodes, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it, and both of those things help the channel out tremendously. You folks take care, and happy hunting.